What's up YouTube, that's all beats, back with another video. Today, no matter what you're using, the MPC Key 61, the MPC software, MPC Live 2, MPC Plus, One Plus, MPC Touch, no matter what MPC it is, even if you're in the software, no matter what it is, they know what you did. So this is a benefit for us as producers or beat maker. This is actually helpful to us. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So you're inside the software. Once you turn the software on, doesn't matter what it is, the software or standalone, doesn't matter. They know exactly what you did as soon as you turn it on and touch anything on this, this here, either the pads, the keys, whatever you touch, they know what you did. All right. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So you're here now, right? We inside the software. So watch what I'm going to do. I just turned it on. No VST selected. No nothing is selected, right? We just come here and we go, okay, I'm thinking of something. Let me see. Let's say a melody go. But in my head, I'm playing it on the keys. I'm going. All right. The MPC automatically knows that you did that. It automatically knows that you did that. And that's a benefit for us. Because you say I, I I got up from here and I went out, came back in and said, dang, I forgot that melody that I was doing. What you could do is come right here to this retrospective. Hit that. There you go right there. That's the. That's it. it. Automatically remember what you played. Even if you didn't use a VST, it don't matter if you select anything. It does. It doesn't matter. Now let's come right here. Put the playhead right here, and let's say we using a pad. So most people don't have the 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 keys. Let's say y'all have the the pads, right? And we go. All right. You hit retrospect. There you go right there. All right, so it put it wherever you put the playhead is at. Let's go again. Let's put it here. Now we want to do, let's say, let's go into, um, let's say we are on a uh, track two and we are on, um, we're on the plugin, right? Let's say, um, let's go back to shift stop, go back to the beginning. Let's say we did a chord progression. We was playing with a chord progression. We had a VST up and we we're playing with a chord progression. And we go. All right. I messed up a little bit. I was touching the other keys. What you do is you come here and hit that. There you go. Retrospective record. So to sum up the video. They know what you're doing, so it's, it's good for us as producers because we can always remember what we did and then we can just go back to whatever we hit or did and know what we did, all right? So that's it, man. That's just the video today. It's not a wasn't a beat making video, wasn't no sounds, no nothing, just me explaining the retrospective um, record. That's it. All right, use it, man. It's a good function. It's great in the MPC. Always, it's like a, a, a it's like your 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 sidekick behind you is telling you, reminding you of what you did. All right, just think of it like that. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Let's catch you in the next one, man. Let's go.